two words I used a lot were proud and grateful. You know, proud of them. They've been through a lot. They've put a town on their back, literally, and and showed things to us as a staff that we never even thought were possible. And grateful for shining a light on on what this program could be, and and uh, you know, went from bottom, bottom feeders to putting a trophy over our heads. It's pretty incredible. Uh, you start with Rylan Masterson, and then you know you, you go on from there. You know, best captain this program seen in 30 years. Just kid that does it all, and you know, just a winner. Uh, and guys like Charlie Burns, who've probably the best performance in Golden Horseshoe history. You know, trickles all the way down to Blake Hall and and guys that put the trust in their careers in, in Fort Erie and uh, just it's just a special group. I just kind of told the boys there, it, it sucks that your last game you lost, but once you once you get the tears out of your eyes, just realize like you're a champion forever and you're a champion in a place that there aren't many champions and, and the town and I'm going to be honest, what those kids just did for the town of Fort Erie, the Golden Horseshoe Conference, and probably the entire league, it's, it's never going to be – you're never going to be able to explain what those guys just did. The Fort Erie Meteors won the Golden Horseshoe Championship and pushed for a Sutherland Cup. And I, I got a text from a buddy today. He's driving down the road, and there's signs in people's windows. And I just told the boys, too. I said, I love junior B hockey more than anyone in the world. I've been around it forever. I didn't think that was possible at this level. I thought that was an OHL thing, a college thing, like like the bigger leagues. And these kids just they brought that feel to, to Fort Erie, and I my heart breaks for them right now. But they're they're the coolest kids I've ever met, and I'm just so proud of them. And I, I it sucks we're never gonna skate together again. But I mean, those guys are champions together forever. This was never an op an option for us to win a championship. We were we were just trying to put the best team on the ice every Saturday to get the town involved and, and push kids on to the next level. And then just you start bringing in guys that want to do it, and you you look at each other and you're, I mean we we laugh. We're just look, we're here. We're getting on the bus again. We're going to practice again. Like our usually like when we played our golf season started two months ago, and we haven't played yet. So I mean it's just it's super cool. It's cool to watch what he does. Uh, winning coach of the year twice and and just the respect he gets around the rink and is, is deserved um it's cool to be his younger brother but it's it's cool to be his assistant coach and work under him and i'm just proud of him and proud of what he's done for these guys and he's a father to those guys and um he definitely uh definitely deserves everything he gets a couple of mistakes that probably aren't mistakes we usually make and uh puck not going to the back of the net uh it is what it is uh, you know, Charlie made some big saves there to keep us in, and um, then I think we poured it on. You know, I think you could ask them over there. They uh, they definitely saw uh, one of our best efforts in a couple of months and a couple of weeks, and just a little just came up short. You know, I, I think it's like you said, no point in going over the goals specifically. It's just mistakes we don't usually make, and um, you know, it was a great crowd, but I thought our guys handled it really well. Like our first period was awesome, so um, I'm proud of them for that. That again, it had the Caledonia feeling, right, guys? Uh, they're right on your back there, and we just never die. This team never dies. I remember we haven't even talked about it. I don't think in the Caledonia game, game seven, me walking down the bench to Anthony with my game card in front of my mouth and said, "This team's incredible." Like uh, literally, it gives me chills just thinking about it. I they're just they're just incredible. They just never die. And it's not even like a lot is set on the bench. It's, it's by us or the or the leadership group. It's just ingrained in them that we can score at will, and we're always in it. I'm just they're just amazing.